What's up, YouTube? This is SD for show. All right, I'm just burning through on my headphones right now because I mean, all these headphones I have for a while. I just want to make sure that what I review to you guys are gonna be true to the death. I I I'm not biased to no shit. I don't. I'm not biased to no brand. This is giving you the truth 100%. All right. So um, what I got for you guys today is pretty special. Bang and a Lufson A8 headphones. Um. The these were like made for like promotion or something because they Bang and Lawson had speaker systems in the Audi A8 or some shit like that. I'm not really sure, but they made these headphones. All right, so here's the case. It's a hard shell leather thingy. It looks pretty cool with the Bang and Lawson kind of like inscribed right there. These are 100% legit. I checked it out. I registered it, and uh, no, I didn't register it. Um, I checked on their website. I, I contacted and shit. Made sure it's 100% real. So this ain't the fake shit, all right? No oh, shit. These retail at like 160 bucks, so they're expensive, all right? But yeah, um, let's get into it. I don't like Velcro. I don't know why they put Velcro. I expected more, like a zip. So I don't really take care of these that well because I got them for free from my parents because they didn't like them when they bought them. All right, so here we go. What beauties! On the website, they call them um super advanced jewelry or some shit like that, like advanced jewelry with capabilities or some shit like that. All right, so design. Let's. I'm gonna put one down. Just get into one. Focus on one. All right. Check this out. Design. I would rate it eight out of ten. Okay, that's pretty good design. All right. All right. Look. It matches the contours of any ears, matches the size of any ears, matches the weird shape of any ears, and you can um when you hook it around your ear when you want to stop listening, you start taking the whole thing off and you just pop this out like that. Talk, talk, talk to your friends and pop it back in. There we go. It's pretty sick. Um, they they it does provide a great fit, but only if you um figure out where the like how it fits. Cause my parents like they didn't know how it fits. They made it too big, too small. It just didn't fit well for them. It took me a while, cause it, it took me a while to find my good fit. But uh, once you find it, it's great. Yeah, that's pretty pretty much it about design. Uh, the wires are thin. They they look kind of nervously thin, cause like I'm afraid they're gonna like snap. Like yeah, they have this really cool rubber rubber guard things here to aid in flexibility, which is cool. And they go down to a two prong splitter. No, oh, damn, just a stupid reverse camera. Anyways, it was down here. Here, 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 and the plug. The plug is silver. Why the hell is it silver? I expect the gold for this shit money. 160 bucks. I expect the gold. They, they played silver. Like, what the fuck? Alright, anyways, um, that don't really matter. So sound, let's move on. Sound quality, sound qua qua. What does he quality? Quality, sound quality. No, it's not because I'm Asian and I speak like Asian. I do speak kind of like Asian, but I speak English. All right. So quality, sound quality. Um, these. Not gonna lie, they are a disappointment. All right. I expected more from Bang and Lufson being such a sexy company they are. Um, well, let's start off as if you start if you upgrade from the Apple stock earbuds to these, they sound pretty much the same. You won't notice anything unless you take like hours of listening. They actually listen. You can appreciate the super high highs and the super defined mids and the lack of bass. All right. First things first, bass zero, zeppo, zip, zo, zam, zip, none, zine, nine, whatever. Nothing, no bass, no bass whatsoever. Okay, there's a bit more bass than the Apple stock earbuds, but that's just a wee little teeny bit. It's not 160 bucks worth of bass, alright, no. But they did not claim it was a bass headphone, so that I understand. Okay, that's my only disappointment. The, Mids and the highs are great, but I really don't give a shit about mids and highs. I mean, I want them to be good, but these are like super high mid and stuff. So when you listen to music, it kind of like pierces your ears. The highs and the mids is like, you just like ah. So I want there to be some bass, you know. 
So f when, first they'll come without these uh, stupid furry cushion things. They sound like if they sound even shittier without them. So be sure to put them on. It makes it sound kind of better. So yeah, um, it does look really cool. It's like a fashion statement. It's like, hey, look at me, I'm a rich bitch. There we go. I really don't care. I use them for running because they stay on my ears. That's pretty much it. I sweat all over them. I really don't give a shit about them. Um, yeah, and the wires, the wires are kind of tangled. They're usually uh, pretty good in not getting tangled up. They, they don't really get tangled up, but I kind of just scrunch them up in my box for a while. So, yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, comfort level. Comfort level is, is pretty comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be 8 out of 10. But you can't sleep with these because you just can't. The whole thing is just there. It's just against your ear. It's gonna hurt your ear. It's gonna break the headphones probably. So banging on left some durability. Looks pretty damn durable. Don't look like it's gonna break no time soon. So that's pretty much it. Um, this has been Zesty for show. Has a band lost in box thingy again. You can see. And yeah. Um. Would I recommend this to a friend? Hell no. Unless you really got that mu much money, you just like. Unless you wipe your ass with money, don't get these. But if you do, <laughs> go ahead. Buy whatever you want. When you're looking at this review, you should have bought it a long time ago. All right, so that's pretty much it. I've been zesty for show. These have been banging a lot in A8 headphones. Pieces of shit. Okay, they're not pieces of shit. They sound pretty good. If okay, if they cost fifty bucks, I'd say they're really great. But one hundred sixty bucks, no, big no no. Okay, that was gay. That was really gay. All right, never mind. Um, yeah, peace out. Questions, comments, concerns, please post below. Please, please, please subscribe. Subscribe. Um, if you guys checked out a channel called B Boy Zesty for Show, that used to be me, but I felt bad because there's another guy named B Boy Zesty, so I just switched it to Zesty for Show. So all my videos are lost. I was pretty dumb. So I'm making all this up. Alright? So peace out. Comment. Subscribe. Rate. Rate. Comment. Subscribe. Peace.